Hello everyone. Hope you all are doing well and welcome to another fan to play fantasy match preview. This is for the second semi-final between India and England and it's going to be played at Adelaide where you have interesting ground dimensions but you also have the king of Adelaide playing this game and we have Nikhil bhai with us to carry you through this preview and tell you how many runs score he's going to score today. Uh without getting into details, yes, very important game. Uh lots of things to be Talk the word uh, going ahead in this video, but yes, Adelaide, a uh, very famous venue uh, for India. They had historic games there. Hopefully, another one that goes in the right favor, uh, because I don't know. It just gives a very 2017 Valley vibe, where uh, you beat Pakistan and then you come back to Spain in the final. I don't know. Yes, it will be interesting to see who we see in the final. But before we decide who we see in the final, let's see. How the ground dimensions are going to treat the Indian team come yep. Thursday. So let's see how it is. So, like we mentioned, the game will be played at Adelaide, where the square boundaries are very short, and we have seen teams trying to exploit that. And we have Surya Kumar Yadav who's going to sweep pace and exploit that one more time. Through that again, uh, that is something that has been discussed quite a bit and I'm not telling you about this. Because the conditions are saying that the longer boundaries are bigger, they tend hmm. to bowl more full as opposed to short. So, you can miss it, but the thing is because the square boundaries are so short, your length becomes, there is margin of error very low. And both these teams have a lot of guys who could use those very well. They say, if you take Bangladesh, for example, they tried in one game to pepper the short boundary. Uh, Sri Lanka mm-hmm. also, in the game that they played, they wanted to use the short boundary, but that was in Sydney. But still, they got out to that side only. So, mm-hmm. that is something that is very tempting for all the people to try. And sometimes it results in a way that you are losing out of the game just because you are trying one dimension. So, I think hopefully yeah. that is not done by any of the sides. Uh, but batting definitely is their strong also. Right, absolutely. And we also have some good pullers of the game who are going to be yeah. playing this game. Pulls, cuts. So, it will be interesting to see how that short boundary is used by both these teams. And we will have we will discuss some GL scenarios at the end of this video. So, stay tuned for that. And because we are going to discuss some amazing GL scenarios, ensure you make multiple teams in the yes. fan-to-play tournament leaderboard because you have way too many prizes to win and apart from that the competition is less there are less spots so it's more realistic a chance for you to win the grand league in itself bilkul dekho competition kam logo se hai team zyada ho sakti hai unhi ki to base team agar aapki strong hai multiple combinations banao unhe bar bar ka hai better to get the most of a strong base team by putting it in multiple leaderboards ab international leaderboard mein invest karo paise hai app pe make multiple combinations join the right leaderboard this then it clicks, it will, you will sweep everything and of course you will get closer to the card. But the point is you are able to sustain your time in fantasy mode if you are able to play on the right platform and get consistent returns as opposed to that one great win big and then nothing otherwise. So that's the reason why we keep telling you to, to try out the app. You will know for yourself how it's easier to sustain here as opposed to anywhere else. Yes, and like you can see here, this is the main Grand League and it's only 18,000 odd spots with 7,000 odd winners here. The first prize is 50,000 and while it's easy to keep dreaming of lakhs and crores, how many times have we actually got there yet? So, it's important to be realistic. Many of you I've seen have already won private contests of this size of 15 to 18,000 people and 18,000 members. So, it's a realistic chance for you to go one step further and win the Grand League in itself. And yes, even if the team doesn't go that great, there's no risk of you losing out on all your capital. So, ensure that you take part in the T20 World Cup leaderboard Grand League contest. And now, let's look at what base team we have for this game. So, here, here you go. You can see we have gone with Josh Butler, Virat Kohli and Surya Kumar Yadav. And you will have many temptations and way too many options. But you will understand why we have done that. Because you can see here, we have packed this team with five all-rounders. And why these five all-rounders? Because all of them are going to play important roles. Hardik Pandya is going to bat 
in the top five and he's going to in all probability bowl his full quota in this game Liam Livingston, we are seeing him being used very actively, two to three overs in most games. And because he can bowl leg spin and off spin both, there will be no hesitancy to use him against India. Same for Ben Stokes, who also bowls in the opening overs. So, good chance for him to extract something from the pitch. Sam Curran's bowling at the death. And Akshar Patel is someone's X-Factor pick. So, he'll tell you what the thought process behind that is. Bilkul, uske mein hum scenarios mein aur bhi detail mein baat karenge, but... Uh... The point again of being able to prevent fan to play is you are taking five all-rounders who are taking a lot of good returns in the both departments. Now, you have a simple logic that you have to give a 30-40 points for any batter if you don't have to do the conditions in his favor. Hmm. Which, as opposed to an all-rounder, who can take one wicket and kill 10 runs, then you have to make those points. Yes, you have to take one wicket and kill 4 runs, but the probability of him being in the game for 24 balls is far more as opposed to getting out of the game in one ball. But again, hmm. that is something that works for us. If it doesn't, you can go and choose your own way. So, batter mein dekhi, kyunki malan nahi hai, to salt ke lehi hai. To namak chhilke ga, to bapu to namak aur bapu ka purana relation hai. I think that is enough. Uh, best punch so far in the entire world, in this entire series of videos that we have done. So, dekhte kaun kis pe kya chhilakta hai. So, these two make it a point. England के openers में से हमने एक को ही लिया है, दूसरे को नहीं लिया है, क्योंकि हम expect कर रहे हैं कि जल्दी विकेट जाएगी, क्योंकि Adelaide में mm-hmm. गई है, जल्दी विकेट, and the rest of the batting for both sides, if you see, it hasn't quite been as consistent. समझ लगा Harry Brook हम सबको बहुत पसंद है, but उनके वैसे returns नहीं आए, and the key reason for that that is their entry point. Harry Brook कभी-कभी बहुत नीचा आया, कभी Ben Stokes ऊपर आया. तो वो सब कम, वो सच में दिमाग लगाने से बेटर है कि भाई मैं all rounders और bowlers को back करूं जो मुझे पता है कि गेम में डेफिनेटली होंगे अब डेविड मलान वाज देयर इन द साइड ही डिड नॉट गेट टू बैट टू गेम्स इन अ रो ही वाज अ डेजिग्नेटेड नंबर 3 इन फॉर्म पे थोड़े समय पहले नंबर 1 टी20 बैटर क्या फर्क पड़ा उससे कुछ नहीं फर्क पड़ा तो दैट इज द वे टीम्स आर लुकिंग एट रिसोर्सेज फॉर इंडिया और रोहित राहुल दोनों हैं आई एक्सपेक्ट देम टू कम ऑफ एज़ वेल बट हाउ मच इट कंप्लीटली डिपेंड ऑन द टॉस अगर पहले बैटिंग करती है तो शायद मैं दोनों को लूं सेकंड बैटिंग करती है तो शायद मैं दोनों को दोनों में से किसी एक को लूं तो Again, plenty of options in this game. Very good game for mini GLs and GLs, but on the right platform. Right, absolutely. I think backing the right players will be very important for you in this game. And in the bowlers, okay, there is a glitch there. We have not gone with Ravi Bishnoi, but it's Mark Wood and Ashdeep Singh. I don't know how Ravi Bishnoi mm-hmm. popped up there, but yes, we have the 11 slot to us. And in the 11th slot, we either you can go with the English bowler Chris Wokes if you feel like there's movement up front, but his form has not been great. And hence, we feel like you can either go with Mohamed Shami if India bowl first. But yes, there's also the interesting matchup of Bhubaneswar with Butler, where you know the amount of times he's got him out in T20s five times and the strike rate is not encouraging. So if you feel like there's movement up front, then you can actually go with Booby because even Alex Hales, however exuberant a player he is, at many points in the first few overs, he'd leave a lot of space between the bat and bat. And yeah. that is where Bhubaneswar will be in the game. Bilkul to dekhe ek aapke bhi test tha ki aapka dhyan tha ki nahi, but good, uh, to, good to get, get that out of the way as well. But that is the thing that we will again, again discuss a bit more in the GL scenarios. This time I come. A handy advice would be to go back to the recent India England T20 series. Uh, you will find a couple of venues there that are similar to Adelaide in terms of conditions, and you will see who did well there. So it will be easier for you to make a team uh, after having a look at that. Yes, absolutely. And captain and vice captain. Captain, we've gone with Sam Curran because there are points where he even batted above Milan when he had to play a finishing role. And apart from that, he's their designated death bowler. Whether anyone else bowls at the death or not, he is bowling his two overs at the death. So, will be very handy and very important. And vice captain is Virat Kohli. If you question that at Adelaide, then you have life questions to answer too. But yes, that is what our final team setup looks like for now. And now, let's head to the interesting GL scenarios for this game. So, first up, Nikhil Bai will cover what he feels about how the game can pan out if England bat first. 
Cool. So let's go on and go talk on Jamaat Ali because this is the year of that. So England bat first and uh, India unleash Baku. As I said, uh, up top Phil Saunders is the number three player. He is playing. He is not playing. If he plays or doesn't play, he will tell you the time. So if the top three is all right, Bhuvi from one end, maybe Baku from other end, or Steve as well will come to the game. But if the first over is not in the first over, then Baku can come up in the second over itself. And Aksar Patel versus England has been history. So uh, I think there is nothing else that I, I need to tell here. I am mean, the one in Adelaide. I have the same first letter anyway. So now, see, look, GL me, this is all going on, brother. Jitna marji dimag lagalo, stats lagalo. This is all going on. This is all going on. This is all going on. So that is one scenario where he cleans up the top three or top two, and then you have the middle or middle order options, batting them mm-hmm. through. Getting them to a pass score, and then of course whoever you feel from India, Kohli, Sky, and Hardik getting a good, good time out, and one of the opener coming off. So mm-hmm. that is one scenario for you. So this scenario is you losing wickets to spin. Second mm-hmm. is losing wickets to pace like they did in the T20 against India, where mm-hmm. but in that case they were chasing. So यहाँ पे अगर पहले batting करते हुए अगर आपको लगता है कि Bhuvi Arjit can do that, so then maybe you can still hold Butler at one end. अगर if you think कि भाई वो बूवी को निकाल लें क्योंकि मेजॉरिटी के कैप्टन वाइस कैप्टन इस गेम में जॉर्ज बट्टर होंगे तो भुवनेश्वर कुमार में से जॉर्ज बट्टर जैसे विरेंद्र भाई ने पहले बता दिया आपको इट इज अ मैसिव मैचअप अगर वो खेल जाता है पहला पांच ओवर तो पूरा बीस ओवर खेलेगा या अठारह पंद्रह सोलह ओवर तो खेलने का ट्राई करेगा ही क्योंकि मलान नहीं है तो दे माइट रीच इज द बैटिंग ऑर्डर तो हियर यूर गोविंद अली लियन लिविंगस्टोन बेन स्टोक्स सैम कर एवरीबडी बिकॉज क्रूशल एंड दर एंट्री पॉइंट इज ऑल्सो क्रूशल बिकॉज Ashwin Aksar will have to bowl, and if Hardik bowls, there is shorter square boundaries. इनको short ball से फर्क नहीं पड़ेगा अगर pitch ball सीधी आ रही हो. रुक के आ रही तो he can still take three wickets again. और मुझे लगता है भी कि पहले bowling करा तो Hardik could do that job for India. So that is your scenario too, where you think कि भाई Josh Butler निकाल लेगा, and then you have the hitters coming in. So if you see, this is similar to how I thought for the Pakistan game. So scenario one, you lose the top order early. Scenario two, you have the Top order playing through, but also crucial roles from the middle uh, middle order to come off, uh, and then you get a good score. And the third, this year special is uh, uh, Alex Hills having a day out, somebody like a Phil Salt having a day out. Ten edges all go over the all over the field that's head. Five catches drop. Proper 2022 things. So, in which, here, then, then, you again have to back the death bowling options. Arshdeep Singh, maybe Mohammad Shami. एंड समझे लगे हाथ दिख पाते क्योंकि उनकी फिर एंड ओवर में बॉलिंग ज्यादा होती है तो ये बैटिंग सेक्शन में आप किसको लोगे विल टेक हेल्स विल टेक लेम लेम सो ऐसे वो सब प्लेयर जो आपको लगता है शॉर्ट बॉल बहुत अच्छा खेलते हैं एंड ऑफ कोर्स यू हैव टू स्लिप इन मोइन अली देयर तो मोइन अली एलेक्स हेल्स बिकम अ परफेक्ट ग्रैंडी कॉम्बिनेशन इन दैट पर्टिकुलर सिनेरियो तो अगेन दिस दीस आर वेरी स्पेसिफिक विजुलाइजेशंस इट मे और मे नॉट वर्क बट दिस इज अ लाइन ऑफ थॉट फॉर यू टू थिंक के अगर ओके ये सिनेरियो में और क्या हो सकता है If it's not this game, it's not going to be any game for Rohit this year. But I feel like on these short square boundaries, he should be able to capitalize. And we know that when someone is attacking from one end, the pressure is off Rahul in that scenario. So then he's able to take his time and then accelerate post power play. So yeah, that is one line of thought for me that the openers go all out berserk. and then maybe we see virat kohli being a number up or down with hardik and surya getting pushed up to push and accelerate the inning so that is one line of thought for me the other scenario for me here is that if like going purely by form and going by history where rohit and rahul don't have a day out rahul in pressure games has not really stood up for us too many times and rohit's form has not been by his side so there could be that scenario where mark wood comes and just strikes up top and in this scenario i think one person who can also be in play apart from mark wood is moin ali because 
many people miss this fact that against off spin rohit in the power play has got dismissed whether it's ashwin or whether even in the ipl moin ali has bowled just one ball to him but he's dismissed him in that one ball and same for moin against virat he's bowled about seven or eight balls to him and he's dismissed him at a, and that strike rate while it's only eight balls is just 50 so they they're not people who will take the aggressive route against moin and that could mean that even if they, he does not take the wicket he puts the pressure from one end and the wicket comes from the other end so moin for me would be worth trying in that scenario so yes two ways out either you go all out with rohit and rahul up top and then maybe virat gets neutralized in that scenario because he has to come and attack from the first ball and then you keep hp and the bowling and the other scenario would be the indian middle order with virat playing his typical Adel- adelaide role along with surya and hardik i don't know how it will work for between dk and pant and who comes in but uh, i feel like with pant having had no game time at all if he plays this game i don't know how much impact he'll be able to make for you in your fantasy team so yeah typically it would be just those two scenarios for me and like you know moin ali can be the golden pick cool very fair let's get to the individual picks now Yes. So I guess I've already given my two picks from whatever I've discussed on all the matchups. My two picks as per the matchups: Bhuvneshwar Kumar and Mohin Ali. Fair call. Uh, my two picks will be Liam Livingston uh, because I do feel he could really not not trouble India, but he could take wickets for fun if India mm-hmm. also has the lady versus him, and he could potentially bowl. So uh, a few in the middle, so label him so, and Rishabh Pant if he plays. Hmm. Okay, that is one against the tide for me. So will be interesting to see how that goes. Also, we have the jersey giveaway question, and like we're doing it for the semi-finals with small twists. So the twist for this game is you have to predict the total number of runs that Rohit and Rahul both will score together. So you don't have to necessarily write their names, but example Rohit plus Rahul. 63 runs is what you think they'll score in total. You can put your predictions in the comments. Closest and fastest wins. And if you are writing the names, please write Rohit and Rahul. ऐसा नहीं लिख देना Rohit Sharma 60 runs because फिर वो ineligible हो जाएगा. So either write Rohit and Rahul 63 runs or then just write 63 runs even that is okay. Yeah. And no matter what you want, write comments. बिल्कुल Rohit Rahul 103 या Rohit Rahul 10 or 3.